Chapter 6. Strengthening democracy, protecting freedoms, and like advancing equality. Advancing equity. There's a difference between equality and equity. We're going to remember that. You know, President Biden and Vice President has and Democrats know that democracy has like been like a Americans like a um, sacred cause. Uh, how mm, whether that is like still true is the most urgent question of our time, and is what the twenty twenty four section is all about. Yeah, they're going on because like if like Trump is elected, he's going to introduce a uh, Agenda four seven and Project twenty twenty five. In our project going 25, and that there are going to be no more elections as well, too. You know, so I can understand how, like, it, this is like this is the most important election ever, but every other election after this is always going to be the most important election ever because, like, the American democracy, or it goes down to democracy, is at the a breaking point. I still argue it's not a democracy, but anyway. America is the only country on the earth that built on the ideal. I doubt this, honestly. That all people are crazy. I no, I disagree. No, the, this country was not built on the idea that all people created equal. That was a clever, like a uh, 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 change of words and a uh, sleight of hand by Thomas Jefferson because he did not consider black people to be people and didn't include women. He just happened to say men, implying to he was really implying rich white men and men with like property. Hey, so, again, it's just like how, like, the majority of people are just more progressive than politicians, and probably a lot of people in the 1700s were more progressive than, like, Thomas Jefferson. Continue on. Uh, we never, like, fully lived up to that, but that's because that's not, that was not the intention. The finally part has made value judgments in the creative system, and, like, even though, like, there's that words of, like, old people are created equal... They said old men create evil, so that exclude women. And but they think they, but they thought the indigenous people were not were still savages and they were not using the like the land properly. And so they want to genocide those people. And then also there's uh, there's all the black people that they didn't consider people but as property that they had as slaves that were building the country. Uh, that's why we never fully lived up to that, because like that was never the intent anyway. I would argue. Could you know But we've never walked away from it either. And we won't let like Donald Trump and like Michael Republicans walk away from it now. The president, vice president, and all Democrats will continue to work every day to enshrine that our democ to ensure that our democracy endures. Um they'll ensure that this democracy as it is will endure because like this democracy gives them power. Continue on. Um, President Biden has been really protecting American democracy as the hardest his presidency. When he took office, the nation was a reeling from what it seemed when it had just witnessed on like January 6th, a violent mob storming the Capitol, smashing windows, kicking in doors, attacking swarms of like police officers, and roaming the corridors like hunting for like elected officials, all whipped up in a frenzy by Trump's lies and repeated over and over for months to overturn in the will of the people. And President Biden and spent his first term working to restore trust in our institutions, protect our freedoms, and then pursue our democracy for the future. What he considers is our democracy, yes. Because uh, the representatives actually are the democracy because they actually vote on things. Well, too, we just like vote who our representatives are, and no one can represent me except for me. And I don't know how one person can represent like 40,000 people either. Continue on. President Biden and Vice President Harrison and Democrats have consistently made it clear that our political that the political violence has no place in America. Except when like America invades another country. Except when they like drone strikes people. Except when they send the Marines. Even like um Tom's Tom Lear in the sixties, like hey, it says that like yeah they we the, in the song of sending the marines yeah we can do the the diplomacy as well too but most often not we just like sending the marines because might make right as the song goes. Continue on. Uh, Trump refuses to defend the court tenets of the democracy, the Constitution, the rule of law, and our system of checks and balances. He was just like petty about it. He didn't like it because he, he didn't like it in absolute power. Continue on. He still doesn't like, accept a, a plain truth upheld by like scores of like a course that he lost in twenty twenty. He lost in twenty twenty. I think he's kind of like admitting it now, but like it's kind of like he forgets what he is like saying. 
continue on. He even described himself as a proud elect, uh, proud election denier, and he has like never agreed to like, accept his year's result. After years of undermining public faith and like confidence in our elections, he warned of a bloodbath if he lose now. He lionized the like convicted criminals uh, who uh, per perpetrated the January 6th attack on our capital and braved police by and, call and calling those institution insurrectionists patriots and uh, hostages, as well promising to depart them. We know how like a Trump will weaken our democracy if he gets another term, and he pr has promised to be dictator on day one, and we have already like seen him like fawn over like other dictators. He has helped to weaponize our government to go after enemies and benefits his allies. Now the thing is like, the United States is going to back dictators. That's how they always do. Again, we put in Augustus Pinochet in Chile in 1973, and the 1st September 11th, September 11, 1973. We backed the dictatorship in Argentina in 1976. Uh, we backed the uh, dictatorship in the military coup in Bolivia in 1971, and uh, the military coup in Bolivia in 2019, so even in recent years. Uh, Truth Out had an article uh, years ago where they said that like um, the United States uh, of America backs seventy one percent of the, or seventy six percent of the world's dictatorships. So we are both back dictatorships. I mean, Israel has a right to defend themselves. We might have harsh rules for the for, for like Benjamin Netanyahu, but like we're not. If Israel still has the right to defend themselves, we're still going to give weapons to Israel. Continue on. He has because like because Harris has not said anything about like uh, imposing an arms embargo on like Israel. She has not. Anyway, continue on. Uh, he has vowed to weaponize our government to go after his enemies and like uh, benefits his allies. He has plans to like uh, uh, fire dedicated non-political like civil servants and replace them with lawyers who will do his building. And he has promised to like exert personal authority over or what has long been like independent agencies. And to silence his critics, he suggested the termination of our constitution. The stakes in this election uh, and for the soul of our nation are profound. Now I still have issues with souls of the nations because I I do not like hold this whole sort of nation. Or like what this nation is so it's supposed to be all about uh, highly as all I'm pretty much anti-American as well too. Oh, but with that said, that's not saying I uh, prefer to have like Donald Trump be like president of this. Like uh, I was like calling this a fascist country. Uh, I would at least say it's authoritarian country for sure. I guess it can be like a fascist authoritarian country if Donald Trump is still elected. With the presidential moon, with the immunity that he gets to be if he's president, or anyone gets to be as president if they commit crimes while president. Presidents already have like presidential immunity when can they commit crimes if they were drone striking people all the way across the world because they're for the drone striking people for suspicion of terrorism, including American citizens that happen to be brown skin. No, nope, that's the truth. Uh, Barack Obama killed Americans uh, with brown skin uh, because he drone striked them. Under suspicion of the terrorism. Continuing on. This election will decide whether the next generation of Americans have more rights and freedoms than, than the past generations or fewer. Trump and like Republicans are already ripping uh, away Americans like uh, hard won and freedoms. Reduct freedoms, freedoms from hate, uh, freedoms from fear. There's not much freedom from hate, honestly. Um, and I'm not sure about freedoms from fear. The freedoms to control our own, like the death. And destinies and more all online is in the election. Uh, reproductive freedom is the only one for sure that like the Democrats are willing to defend, but even when they have the power to do so, or when they have the executive power and that sort of thing, I don't know what they did to actually enshrine reproductive freedoms. I honestly do think that like the Democrats are still going to use uh, reproductive rights as just a wedge issue, just like the Thuggins from used of wedge issue. In fact, actually, there uh, some Thuggins were kind of like pissed off that like the like opportunity to row by the Supreme Court, even though like there was a lot of like Christian nationalists and Christian fascists that did wanted like road to be overturned um they is hey, hey, some thuggan activists will say no no we didn't want this because we now we can't use this a wedge issue and yeah they lost elections because of the overturn in a row oh so like while well, like democrats are for reproductive freedom i honestly think that's just because they love using it as a wedge issue as well too okay take care kirok um Uh, yeah, please read what I DM'd you in, like, Discord as well, too. And please watch those two videos I DM'd you in Discord as well, too, to understand, like, why I say the uh, Democrats are center-right and right-to-right-wing. I mean, 
because like I hate people when they only think about like uh, politics within the framework of like the American political spectrum because the American political spectrum, the Overton window is entirely skewed. <sighs> Uh, and the thing is like also but let me talk about this phrase the freedom to control our own destinies how much control over my own destiny do I have under capitalism in order to have a place to stay in order to be able to have food in order to be able to like have all that I need in order to thrive I have to like work a job in order to like pay for all these things and if people are unable to work or unable to afford set things that they need in order to thrive, then there is hard for them to control their own destinies. This is why I've been like so passionate about like raising funds for or uh, Joanna. Oh wait, let me actually type out these like commands over in uh, the browser on Restream because uh, the chat window is not working for me uh, in OBS. But I can like do it in like can I popped out this chat? No, okay, that's chat settings. Oh, maybe I can like fit all around with this and like see um reply commands not oh so I, can I just like turn that on honestly and then like the restream bot can be active or do I have to pay for it? I'll play with that uh in, like later. But this is why I've been like raising money for like Joanna and Phoenix and Joey because they are unable to be able to like uh, pay for those things. They are unable to be to thrive and that sort of thing too because like if all they um are disabled and can't afford things and even when and like uh, joanna roberts has like sdi is still not enough it's honestly is not enough for in order, in order for like uh joanna roberts to like live i gave her money just today because she doesn't have like money for like uh medication or like food they i mean they're they're not a, have a negative bank account thankfully but like um and we're at basically zero dollars. It's just like some cents. Positive, but still like n not even two pennies to like rub together. And then Phoenix locked to their bank account yesterday. I guess they don't have to like worry about the like the seven hundred dollars that they have in the red over in that bank account. But still, they have no bank account now. So how is like Phoenix and be able to like um thrive if like they don't have like things they need in order to live? Uh, so like this uh, this notion of like being in control of my uh, destiny i don't know how much freedom i have to control my own destiny since i'm reliant i have to work in order to live i don't know how much control over my own destiny i have i could like take more risk to be more control of my destiny and like work for myself but like so i guess there's always that choice of like who i can work for but if the choice is living or dying, people aren't going to make a choice to live. That's not a choice. It's just like how like voting, if it was like Biden that was like the Democratic nominee, a vote between like Biden and Trump, that's not a vote. That's not a democracy. That's a hostage situation. Me choosing to like live or die is not a vote. It's a hostage situation. I'm forced to work under capitalism. I'm forced to work under capitalism in order to live. This is why I want capitalism in the end. This is why I wanted to for be able for people to be able to choose not to work or choose what work they want to do. Uh, and the capitalism, I don't have that choice. I have to like in order to live, I need a place to live in order to like and food and healthcare and transportation and that sort of thing too. I need access to all those things, and those are all behind a paywall because of cost of living. So long as there is cost of living, most of us are not in control of our destinies. The only ones that are in control over their own destinies are those who happen to be rich. Continue on. Democrats will not let them let happen. Together, we'll continue like uh, uniting and rallying Americas uh, across the political spectrum in defense of our democracy, making it clear that political violence has no place in America. And we will defend our freedoms, restore essential trust in our institutions, and preserve like America's vital role as a beacon of democracy across the world. 